Hello, Justice families, and Happy New Year. I'm so excited for 2021 and what the rest of the school year is going to bring for not only us, but for our students here at Justice. Today, I wanted to quickly just share with you guys what we're going to be focusing on for this week, and um, that is called the Circle of Control. And the reason why I chose this topic is because in 2020, we learned and students learned that there's things that we can absolutely not control. We can't control if people stay home or not. We can't control um, the coronavirus. We can't control those things. So I wanted to talk with students about what they can control. Sometimes students get overwhelmed and feel like every single thing is out of their control. Sometimes our brain begins to lie to us and tell us that we've lost control and that there are things that we just are never going to be able to change. However, something that I want to focus on this month that I'm so excited to be sharing with students is that there are things we can control. We can control our choices. We can control how hard we try on our schoolwork. We can control what we do when we are at home. So this week, I want your child to try to pick one thing that they can control, whether that's controlling cleaning their room, controlling their schoolwork, um, controlling how they treat others, controlling what they say. Um, so throughout the lesson this week, we're going to read a book together called Alexander and the No Good, Very Bad Day. And Alexander goes through all kinds of horrible things, but at the end, he kind of realizes there's certain things that he can control and things that he cannot control. So I'm so excited to share that with your students. And please feel free if you have any questions or if there's anything that you're confused about in this week's lesson, or if you really just want some information on how to teach kids about the circle of control, I'd love to share information with you and I'd love to meet with you or your child on Google Meet. So please feel free, like I said, to email me or call or ask me any questions and I'm so excited and here for you and here to help. Have a great week and again, happy 2021. Thanks.